Well, the earthquakes didn't do much in the way of damage, but they did provide an important reminder to always be prepared for the unexpected. The Tulsa County Emergency Management Command Center. It's here where in the event of a major disaster, different agencies from the city and county would coordinate the response. No such response was needed for Saturday's quakes, but almost immediately after, emergency officials started communicating with one another like they do with any disaster. And pretty quick, we knew that there was not extensive damage in Tulsa. So there wasn't a lot for us to do at that time. This event just uh, made us want to redouble our efforts to inform the public how important it is to take accountability for how you're going to uh, survive during a disaster event. We encourage everyone to have a family disaster plan, a family disaster supply kit. Over at Tulsa's 911 call center, calls from concerned residents began lighting up the switchboards at a faster pace than normal. The call center received 81 calls immediately following the early morning quake. Later that night, just before 11, they handled 89 calls. Officials say while dispatchers were busy in both instances, they were never overwhelmed. <laughs> Tulsa Fire's urban search and rescue captain R.B. Alice says his team is ready to respond to any disaster, even earthquakes. The earthquakes just kind of bring to light the preparedness that we do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. I've been studying the new Madrid Fault and looking at the things that could happen with that, and it's just one of those things that we have to be prepared for, just like a tornado or a flood. And this week, the Urban Search and Rescue Alliance will meet in Oklahoma City. Now, this is an alliance made up of teams from across the nation. The meeting was actually scheduled months in advance, but no doubt one topic that will likely be brought up, the Oklahoma earthquakes. Reporting in Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you.